It's Mary Beth, mixed media journaling promo, take one. So Mary Beth, we're close to finishing filming uh, for mixed media journaling. And how's it been so far? Have you had a good time? I have. I can't wait for people to see this. I think they're going to love it. I mean, well, first of all, the four teachers are just the best. It's it's a class I would sign up for. It's true. It's yeah, true. And really. you know, you know all the people who are, the, do, who are in the class. I do, and that's so cool. It's like it's going to be a class of me and three of my friends, and that's really fun. Tell us about them. Who are they? Well, Seth Apter is one of them, and. He's all about kind of texture and layers and sort of grungy. And I know what he did, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, and he was a psychologist, which is so interesting because so much of what we're talking about is psychology, right? I mean, well, I think it is. It's like it, because the journals are very self, it's self work and it's work that you don't necessarily show anyone else. It's just for you, work that's just for you. So, yeah, it kind of is. It's true. And um, who else? Who else we have? Keisha Devaney, who I love, and I can't wait to see what she does because I've not seen any of her journal work before. I've seen a lot of her other work, but never her journal work. So that's exciting. It's, and she's so playful, and it's I mean her, yeah. her use of colors mm -hmm. and all the different media that she uses. She's mm -hmm. so inspiring that way. I think right. just is just pure exuberant yes. color and play. And I can only imagine that her studio was total eye candy as well. Crazy. So, it's a yeah. huge place, like densely layered and <laughs> so forth. It's amazing. That doesn't it, surprise me. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. And you have an amazing. A studio too. We hear. I mean, look you. at all these crazy art supplies. It's just, it's endless. It's, know, it's so it's much fun to nuts. play here. And then Natalie Kalbach, yeah. who I love, and she and I've done stuff together for many years, and I just admire her on so many different levels. She's super talented, and she's also hilarious. So, she is. Yeah. She is. And we're going to be doing some an interesting kind of combination of. Uh, different disciplines with her because she's also a painter she's a sort of an urban sketcher in her own way yeah you know and i think it's going to be it's just such a broad and interesting range but mm -hmm. um you know mixed media journaling is so interesting i mean i've been an illustrated journaler for a long time but i've mm -hmm. never really done mixed media journaling mm -hmm. tell me a bit about what what that even means because mixed media sounds like an endless thing an endless Potpourri. Well, it's um, it can be overwhelming if you think about it too much, but I think that potential students should not be overwhelmed by it because even though it might look like we have a lot of supplies, we've acquired these over many years and we didn't start out with all these supplies. And I think that, I, at least I know in my class, I offered a lot of different alternatives if you don't have all the stuff because it just doesn't matter. There's so many ways to do mixed media journaling on the improv and to play with what you have at hand, even if it might not be what I have in my hand on the screen. It's true. And we all have art supplies. Everybody has collected oh gosh, art supplies yeah. and you have cupboards full of them and and mm -hmm. buckets full of them and boxes mm -hmm. full of them and a lot of times you don't even quite know what to do with them and I think that's what's right. going to be fun about this as well as like here's a here's a reason to use it yeah just pull it out and start using it and see what happens right <laughs> it's true I think a lot of times people think oh it's too good I don't know what I'm doing with it I better save it <laughs> right, and right. then you go to it and it's all dried up so this is not yeah we don't want that to happen exactly no, so no. just grab it play with it and have fun mm -hmm. with it yeah mm -hmm. I think it's going to be really interesting that way mm -hmm. I think it's also interesting for people who are maybe a little afraid about drawing, right? Oh yeah, because I, you know, I don't have any particular drawing ability. I mean, I used to draw back in the day. I haven't for a long time. So don't feel like you have to draw to do this. If you do draw, that's a great thing too. And you can certainly incorporate your drawings into your journals. So any, it's, the most freeform way to make art that I can think of, really. It's true, and I think that's an important thing if you are a person who draws and you've mm -hmm. spent a lot of time like trying to draw really realistically and to mm -hmm. really you know, err, get your drawing muscles as good as possible. This is the opposite. This is who you never know what's going to happen. I mean, for me, sometimes I find I'm very tight mm -hmm. and like overly, you know, deliberate about it. But playing with with mixed media is a way of getting out your inner mess your inner emotions almost really. it really is it can almost be like finger painting like almost back to a child's level of playing but I find when I do it 
even though I might be playing like a child that um, there's more meaning embedded in what I end up creating. But it's just fun. It keeps you in the moment and there's so many great things that come out of it. You're lucky this is your job. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. So sign up today and I'll see you in class. Um, once we're done with all this stuff, of course. November 11th. November 11th. <laughs> nice. All right. Is that a good one? Yeah. Sweet. Tail slice. <laughs> Danny Bro will take three. Tails.